Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. If you're new here, my name is Kate. I'm so excited to share with you guys finally my tanning routine and what I've been using and what I do to get a flawless self tan right at home. It's something that's become a natural part of my beauty routine and self care routine. And I have some really amazing products that I've been using for over six months now, since like July or August, that I cannot recommend enough. I know I've definitely shared them in some of my monthly favorites videos, but if you haven't caught on to the brand that I've been loving, I've been using the Mind Tan Self Tanning Mousses. They are absolutely phenomenal. And most recently I got in their Bronze Babe Spray Tan Kit so I can give myself a spray tan right at home. It is so easy to use, really convenient, and I love the formula of their products. So stay tuned if you wanna see. I'm gonna walk you through my routine, give you guys a little tutorial on how you use the Bronze Babe Self Tan Kit and share any tips and tricks that I have along the way. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. So this is what the Bronze Babe Tanning Kit looks like. This is lighter than your average hair dryer, so it's not going to wear you out by any means. It's super compact. You could definitely travel with this if you wanted to, um, and I love just how easy it is to use. So this is where your product goes, right in this little cap, and it has measurements on it, so you can fill it up to your desired need. And then this button back here will disattach this top portion um, to allow you to fill up the cap and put the product in it and then put it back on. Um, the power on and off button is back here, so super easy to use and it has a cord that will plug in right at the bottom. And then to spray it, um, it has a handle right here, so you just hold this down and it's as simple as that. So one other feature that I will share with you guys is the nozzle. So you can turn it two different ways depending on your preference. There's really no right or wrong answer. Again, it just goes back to preference and how you want to spray yourself. But the tool does come with some guides that will give you some tips and their recommendations of how to spray certain areas of your body. So if you want that, it's definitely super handy, very helpful, and that's included in the kit. As for the nozzle here, the first option that you have is to spray horizontally. So if you want to spray from side to side like this, then you'll want to keep the nozzle um, horizontal so that it will spray out that direction. If you prefer to spray vertically, all you have to do is turn it up and then this is how you would keep it for spraying up and down. Another feature that I will share with you guys and that I really, really love about this tool is their Intelligent Air Smart Switch. So back here, um, you have the option to choose your airflow. This is really great in terms of controlling your tan, deciding how much product you want to come out. And it goes from one all the way up to eight. So there's a lot of different options. I found for myself, I personally like to keep it between a four and six. I found that that works really well for me. And then if I'm spraying my hands or feet, I will put it on a much lower setting. So more like a two, even a one for just testing it out and seeing what might work best for you. As for the product itself, um, they have a ton of different colors and undertones just depending on the type of tan that you want and the depth that you want for your tan. I personally really, really love their violet shade, which is a super dark, rich, warm brown finish. Um, this has kind of been my go-to and what I will be using in today's video, but I do also love their coconut water um, spray tan mousse or mixture for the self tan kit. It is amazing and a gorgeous color as well. And a feature that I love about basically all of their products is that they are a one hour express. So if you're like me, don't really have the patience to keep a tan on overnight or like to tan in the morning, which is what I do, leave it on for as little as an hour or just a few hours and rinse it off, you can totally, totally do that. And that is hands down one of my favorite things about Mind Tans tanning products. As my step one for tanning, I always recommend exfoliating before you go in to tan any parts of your body, especially your legs. I like to use a little polish or scrub just to really get in there and remove any dead skin cells, and then I'll go through and shave as well. 
but this is definitely an important step that I recommend not skipping out on. I do also shave my arms. As you can see, I have pretty furry arms, if you will. So I will go through and shave those. It just allows the product to go on so much smoother and cleaner and um, makes a really big difference. So for starting out with the tan, this is also a matter of personal preference. So totally up to you, but I like starting from top and going to bottom. So I like starting with my chest area, spraying my chest and getting my shoulders and then moving down to my stomach and spraying that area and like the sides of my stomach as well. Then I like to move on to my arms and I typically will start by doing the inside of my arm um, just because it's easiest to start out with. So I do typically like to do a side to side motion here and then as I get to some of the harder to reach parts of my arm, I'll switch the nozzle over and do it long ways and start spraying vertically. Moving on to my legs, I do change the nozzle to vertical and I do keep it on that. It's just easiest to spray that direction in my opinion. Um, but I start with the tops of my thighs and I work my way down. Definitely make sure to get in those inner portions. And then for the most part, I do try to go around to the back of my leg and get that as much as I can. But sometimes you have to bring in reinforcements um, or just use the mitt to make sure that you're getting everything. And then as I mentioned, I definitely call in reinforcements to get my back and any parts I might have missed on my leg. So I called in Chris. He is a professional now and all trained up on the spray tanning process. So very thankful for him. But he helped get my back and he did a phenomenal job. It was so flawless and streak free. So as you can see, I have some really good tan lines going on. And from here, um, I am just going to hang out. I usually put on like a baggy t-shirt and some sweats or something. And I'm gonna let this sit for at least an hour. I think all in all for this round, I let it sit for like three to four hours and then just hopped in the shower to rinse it off. Um, there is a little bit of bronzer or color guide that's in there that you will see rinse away. So don't be alarmed at all if you do see some color coming out in your shower. Um, but my recommendation would be just to take the quickest shower possible. Make sure you rinse everything of course but I typically don't go over with like any heavy body washes or anything for that first time in initial rinse I just make sure I get the product off I do lock it in with a lotion or moisturizer after and then you are good to go your tan is still going to develop for the next 24 hours um, and I love that because I feel like I wake up the next day feeling even tanner and more beautiful than I did after that initial rinse but I'll insert a little before and after pic so so you can see the results from the tool. But as I have ranted and raved throughout the video, I genuinely just love their products, love this tool so much. I love the streak-free flawless color that it gives. And as you can see, streak-free in person. It's just a really smooth, natural looking, gorgeous color. And I am into that. I feel so pretty and sun-kissed and I haven't been out in the sun at all. <laughs> but definitely let me know if you guys have any questions about my tanning routine, my process, the tool itself. Happy to help always and love chatting with you guys. But that is going to conclude and wrap up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for tuning back in and watching. And until next time, love you.